Hey everyone, Dr. Document Camera here. I'm real excited to have the brand new Elmo LX1 right here next to me. So let's do a quick little walkthrough. Anyone familiar with the Elmo Teacher's Tool? This is gonna look real familiar to you. Same basic shape, slimmed it down a little bit. In fact, it's one of the great new features, lower profiles, smaller design, a little bit lighter. Um, but this is the same great camera same great uh, 3.4 megapixel 1080p output camera elmo's lens that they make themselves in their own factory uh, this has 12x optical zoom 8x digital zoom faster autofocus than the previous teachers tools so that means when you push that little orange button right there it's going to be like that give you a nice clear image so one of the other great things is that we've got better performance when you connect to your pc and elmo knows that a lot of people connect these to a computer for various reasons. And as you've seen from Dr. Document Camera here, the old one of these connected to a computer wasn't that quick. This one is. It's worthy of being a Dr. Document Camera favorite. So I'm just gonna do a little walkthrough, hook them up, show you how it works, and, and there you have it. First of all, new lower price on this one. It's gonna be less expensive than the old TT12 ID. If you look at the sides, you'll notice that there are a few things missing that were on the TT12. So in the back, power port, USB port, HDMI, and VGA. Gone are the video pass-throughs, gone are the switches to change resolution, the other USB port to put a memory stick in, the SD card slot, all that stuff's gone. They really simplified it. They really found out what you, the user, wants to use and what you do use and they put it in the LX1. Around the front, we don't have a remote anymore. We just have the buttons on here. They kind of simplified that too. We have our power button, image flip, brightness adjustment, the light on and off. Because yeah, there is still light right there. Didn't get rid of that. And you've got an autofocus button down in the base as well. Not everybody wanted to use the button up here, so they put one down there. And it is also orange, so you can tell it's autofocus. This does need a power supply. I have that here. Just plug that right in. And just like the other Elmos, the power button has a red ring around it to show that it's plugged in. When we turn the camera on, that turns blue right there. That's how you know the camera's on. So it takes a second to boot up and then we can plug it right into our uh, display device. Because we have HDMI and VGA, we can use either cable. I'm using HDMI into my LCD panel right here. You can plug it into your projector though with either cable. Either one's gonna work fine. So we just plug that right in. We're gonna just need it to grab the signal from the camera and we're gonna see that picture coming up right there. That hand looks familiar. You can adjust the brightness. You can make that a little bit darker doesn't overpower the sun though yeah. and yeah you know, we can put our piece of paper underneath there put my little orange lizard friend underneath there still got the zoom right here so we can zoom in and out I mentioned the autofocus have that there you barely even see it do anything it's so much faster now so real easy to set up if you're familiar with Elmo, this is going to be like second nature to you. They just took the best of what they had in the previous versions, trimmed out all the fat, and here you go. You got the LX1. The most impressive thing with this is it's better performance on a computer. Luckily, I have a computer. The USB cable running from my computer, which I almost pulled out there. Uh, going to our Elmo right here, which is still on. You can see this is a live image right on screen. Now I do have it set to 1080p, and you will notice that you can see my fingers wiggling around on the screen. A lot of people like to have these Elmos connected to their computers because they have interactive whiteboards or they can't connect it to their projector for some reason, so they plug it in there. You've got quality video right now. So if you are drawing, you wanna write math problems, you all should be able to see your hand moving on the screen nice and smoothly. So that's really what I wanted to show you. In addition, this is brand new ImageMate software. It's ImageMate 4. 
We've got our icon strip on the side. You've got your uh, image window, which you can blow up larger if you wanted to. That's just the default size. And it works great. I mean, we can even press this little icon here and you can have the same buttons that you have on your Elmo pop up on the screen. So if you are using it with your smart board or your interactive whiteboard, you can now have this little window that you can move around on screen and still press those same buttons to work the camera. So again, if you're familiar with Elmos, this is going to be second nature to you, but it is a lot better. So if you have an older Elmo and you're looking to upgrade, the LX1 is the way to go. Thank you.